Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss what how to use DB schema editor for Cassandra. So add here in Google Drive DB schema download. Add here you get DB schema.com. Now let's click this link. And here you can find download DB schema. So add here re evaluate. So this is for 15 days. And here this is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And here this is the current version and here 64 bit installer and here also uh, first you should download and install dedicated to app. Now hereafter let's click on installer. So and here the file size is 152 MB and here this is the exe file. Now let's click on save and here it's so uh, downloading so that I already downloaded DB schema 8.1 so I'm not going to download once again so let's click cancel and here after let's click on open file so add here DB schema installer extracting DB schema installer files now add here welcome to DB schema setup wizard click on next and this location where or db schema going to install c program files db schema and here this is the space required 298 mb click on next and here create a start panel so it's fine db schema if you want then here you can select other so let's click on next and here db schema project file here dot dbs or you can use sql query file click on next and here this is preparing to install completing the db schema setup wizard here run db schema create icon so let's click on finish so add here db schema it's opening now add here so let's close that and here this is the editor now first uh, I'm going to connect to Cassandra. So one more thing, let's open the one prompt. And here after let's write Cassandra minus L. So by using this command Cassandra will start. Cassandra is starting now. Here after let's minimize and here after click on connect to database. And here you can select to add here RDBMS. So if you select add here, here you can find Cassandra, MongoDB, Oracle. So let's click add here Cassandra. So at your downloading travel from the dbschema.com. So add here 50% done. So at here installing the GDBC, so it's so uh, completed, I think. And here after loading the drivers. So if you're using first time, so you need to do this. Now here after Cassandra is selected, and here after the next thing is so at here localhost 9042. So automatically it's taken database Cassandra and here and here after we need to select add here key space so there are different key space are there so here you can see this key space so I think uh, let's uh, select add here Sony key space now here you can by clicking this you can uh, view the password so add here Cassandra it's fine now here after click on connect so that you connected now here tick checkbox schema to reserve the engineer so key space we need to select so let's select at here sony now here after click on ok so here you can see key space so there is a one table inside there and here this is at here ear diagram and here this is here a strand so it has three columns now if you right click 
Right in, right click, then you can create the tables and here you can find the path. Now here up to right click, then you can create the key space here. Now here up to you can open the query editor. So new SQL editor, open SQL file, this kind of option here. Now here up to the schema, if you go here, create table view. Here create table, by using this you can easily create the table. So right here, keep the table name, here after set columns and here after you can make your primary foreign key check constant at here. So this is the one good ID for Cassandra. So this is the simplest way you can use at here or DB schema for Cassandra. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.